why the Lord chose to be crucified. Definitely, we believe that the Lord came to die for us, offer his life as a sacrifice, as a ransom for all human beings. But why specifically the cross to be crucified? Simply, that was an important question for all the fathers of the church. That's why they gave list of answers. The first common answer, the Lord tried to show his death before the eyes of thousands of people because he believed that one day people may come and say that he did not die. That's why they will doubt his resurrection. Because if he died in a room, some little number of people may speak about his death. But being dead before the eyes of thousands, that will never allow for any doubt to come up. The second important answer, the Lord could never be sick as us because he had no corruption in his body, so he had to be killed. Also, the Gentiles and the Jews side shared in killing him. So all humans shared in killing the Lord. And that will speak for the story of sin and salvation. We were all corrupted, we were all sinful people, and because of our sin, he came to pay the debt to cover all the sins. And this will speak for the idea of reconciliation. The Lord came because He is really God and He is really man to reconcile heaven and earth, to reconcile God and man again in His crucifixion. Also stretching His um, hands on the cross, it's like embracing all humanity in his heart, inviting everyone to come over and to be saved by his blood. That was important. You know, the curse given because of the original tree, the sinful way, you know, coming, entering the nature of humanity through the tree. Surely the solution should be with another tree because the cross in its nature, it was a tree. So it spoke for the tree of life. The first tree was the tree of death, and that was chosen by Adam and Eve. Now we are choosing the tree of life because this is our salvation sign. The cross will give us the sign. And the sign is important because David, the one who wrote the psalm, spoke about the sign coming for the Savior. And the Lord himself spoke about the sign will come in heaven be, before his day of judgment. That Simon, the old man, the old priest, who carried the Lord when he was a baby, he spoke about the sign. So the sign of the cross were all with there. The Lord chose for his people to have the power of his cross through the sign of the cross. Another important answer, if you study the death on the cross, you'll find out that it, it's full of pain, suffering. It's a long way of dying. It's really very tough way. It's much easier for someone uh, to die with the sword or to be killed in a minute. But the Lord showed the hardest way in order to tell us that how much he loved us and also to tell us how much pain because of our sins and our bad things we do him. Another important answer, the Lord was acting like the archipriest, the head of priesthood, because he was praying on the cross. He was standing like a priest. In the same minute, he was acting like the sacrifice, the offering. So he played both roles, being the high priest and the sacrifice in the same minute. By the cross, the Lord spoke many important words to God the Father and to Saint Mary, to John the Beloved, and also he interceded for all those who were killing him at that time. And these important lessons could never be given without this slow way of dying dying on the cross. The idea of being crucified will tell us that we have to carry the cross. 
we are ready to suffer, we are ready to follow his st steps, and we are carrying his, the curse of the cross. Now, the, what was like a curse became our glory, because we could see in the cross our glory, our victory, our eternity, so we love the cross so much. Also, being crucified, he fulfilled many of the prophecies mentioned by many prophets because the prophets could see what's happening in this great minute of redemption of all humanity. So David spoke about the nails in his hands and legs. Isaiah spoke about being a sacrifice like a sheep taken to be slaughtered. So they spoke about many things. And David also mentioned that he will be enthroned on the tree. And that was exactly what happened. People could see the title on the cross, he is the king. So he was enthroned on the throne of kingdom being crucified. Saint Athanasius the Great mentioned that the Lord was attacking the kingdom of evil and the kingdom of evil is out there in the air so he conquered them in their kingdom that's why he accepted to die for the redemption of everyone in the air for you know attacking and conquering this bad kingdom so you could see that there are many answers for the common question why the lord was crucified now we are happy following him, carrying his cross, and we all waiting for the resurrection to enjoy the gift of his crucifixion, which is eternal life.